Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to be playing with this. And this is going to get very confusing because the way I have this camera set up is mirrored on OBS. And I'm kind of seeing two different things. This is the Raspberry Pi kit from Vilros. See, get kit. And we're going to get it stuck together and we're going to get it booting with the Samsung 64 gig card of it's fit. It says it's fit. So you got to trust it. That's weird to get lined up. But yeah, it's one of these. We'll see if it works. I even have science scissors in here for that. I planned ahead. Let's see what's in the box, though. That's the HDMI noodle. Yeah, I got this yesterday. This is very difficult not to um, play with it yesterday. I wanted to save it for the stream. That is a Raspberry Pi case. It's got a fan. That's nice. Because it is going to get hot in here. USB-C compatible power supply. All right. And the box, the resistance. That is a um, 8 gig. Yeah. So the reason I bought a kit was uh, this is the only way I could find one that was in stock. What else do we have? All right, let's be careful. We'll be through stuff. Uh, quick start guide. Let's pretend to read some of this. Mm hmm. Introduction. Put pie in hole. Hook it up to a CRT TV. Okay. Put a card in it. Raspbian and Linux. We're going to be installing Ubuntu Linux on this, strangely enough. And um, something about mountains. Connecting to Wi-Fi. No, nope. don't think we're going to be doing pretty much anything in this. Where do I put this? I have very limited space. You got a sticker? I'll throw that away. There it goes. And... Happy review us, not happy, contact us. Throw that away. All right. Ubuntu is a good choice, Arbian. The only reason I'm going to be, I'm going to be using a very particular version. I'm going to be using uh, Ubuntu 2004. Not the point released version because there is one guide that I found that apparently getting Jitsi up and running on is the way to do it. So this is, I guess, tec technically my first, second, fourth Raspberry Pi. I bought the first one like everyone did. And I bought um, the Pi 3 when it came out, but I don't know where it is. I swear I didn't give it away, but I think I did because I just cannot find it anywhere. And I bought that Zero W back when, when I did the uh, webcam. LTS for Jitsi. Yeah, see, the problem is, is, like, apparently it doesn't work with any of the point releases. So. Man, that's a lot of stuff I'm not going to read. So, yeah, that comes in a pie. I wonder if anybody ever actually read That will never get folded up correctly. Let's face it, that's going in the trash. So, what's this? Um, bacon, something, poke it, and I put a thermometer on it. Okay. The biggest problem with the folding guides is, for some reason, you want to try to get it folded back correctly, and you can waste a lot of time doing that. Yeah. Hey, we got the Raspberry Pi. It's all nice and warm. Let's see if I drop... Oh, man, I got to work on where I put these cameras. It's like hard to get lined up. I like reach forward to do it. I guess it looks better down here anyway. It's so small. And the power adapter. Hopefully I got a reversion of the board that doesn't have the uh, non-existent power problem that they totally went back and fixed. Remember that? I'm trying not to rip the boxes up. Ugh. Roll it up. Yeah, this is going to go in the rubbish bin, to be honest. 
Well, this is like one of the things with me. I don't buy something unless I have a use for it. And as soon as I don't have a use for it, uh, I give it away. I don't like... I, I'm almost violently against having stuff, like collecting things or anything like that. That's it. That's chunky. What is this? Let's see. 100 to 240, uh, 0.6 amps, man. So, I mean... Ah, I thought it was being clever flipping the uh, view around, but geez, that's going to get confusing. It's got a switch on it. Look at that. Okay. That's a bonus soda. It's got a nice little USB noodle and... Are we good? Mmm. Hey, that works. That could... That's handy. Getting this plugged in this is going to be a chore. Because I'm... I, hmm. We might have to work something up to get this plugged in, to be honest with you. That no, should be fine. So, what is this? This is just our... Um, micro HDMI to... Okay. This is just an adapter noodle. Ah, it's childproof. Well, that's the end of the stream. Where are my science scissors? I brought science scissors. And I think I took them right back out because I needed them. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Ugh. Yeah, I gotta go get the science scissors. I'll be right back. There we go. Now we can get into trouble. It's a deboxing cast. Okay. So that was nice of them. It's got like little plugs on it. Look at that. That's some serious gourmet shit. We might use this. We might I might attempt this live. Nice and chunky, too. Um, hmm. I don't want to hate myself when this is... I don't want to hate myself in the morning, so... Let's, uh... Pack things in. As you might have guessed, this is going to be a headless project, but... It's always nice to watch a pie boot up. What is this one childproof too? There we go. So I guess this is what I was most curious about. Ooh. Alright. A little header for oh. Positive, negative, GPIO pins. An IKEA tool. Thermal heat feats. Aw, look at that. Your cute little... Where's the camera? There it is. Little nubbin feet. Manual, I might actually read. What's this say? Connect the fan to your Pi by connecting the black cable to pin number 14 and connecting the red cable to pin number 1. Hmm. This is not much in the way of a... Uh... So what do we need to do? Place the Pi in the bottom half. Place the top part of the case over. Plug that fan in and screw it. Hmm. Wow. 
well. This should be relatively straightforward. One, one might assume. So, is this thing grounded? Oh, it's got little standoffs. Okay, okay. It does have nice, like little standoffs, so that's not gonna be a problem. Um, business end to business end. That should just should just drop in there, kind of maybe a little bit. I mean. Am I going in the right way? Yeah, I gotta be going in the right way, right? This is the part where we can break stuff. Hey, look at that. Click clack. We've done one complete thing. All the holes are lined up too. Nice. Use a little bit of force, man. This is, uh, this is something Jordan and I bring up a lot, is I do my best not to use any force because I tend to just snap things in half, like controllers. With my big, strong hands. And not. So what do we do with these? Yes, it's aluminium, so it just means I, I can probably bend it back in place. Hmm. Where go? Okay, Vilros. I will take a little bit of an issue. You don't tell me where to stick the sticky things. I'm guessing this one is there and this one here maybe does that seem like the most logical i guess right yeah okay we can do that we can attempt to do that that's what we can do try not to break anything heal I didn't make any noise, so nobody's missing out on anything on that. I want to make sure that makes... Ah, I should have used Thermal Grizzly. Okay. That's kind of on there straight. I'll take that. Noctua, yeah, right? I couldn't get any LN2 in time, so. I would rather put this on with tweezers. These are little parts made for little people. That's also not very flush. It's not flush at all. I take issue with how unlevel the um the seat sink is. That's not gonna be very I know I'm off camera, but I had to take a look at that. Genuinely felt like something was stuck under it. That's the best I'm going to do. Uh, mayonnaise. Everything makes a decent thermal compound. Is just it doesn't last very long. Like after I've bought the um, that graphene pad, I'm done. I'm not buying uh, any more thermal paste. Not that you necessarily need to buy a lot of thermal paste, but... Yeah, I put that on the um, 
Jackbox. Ryzen 1700 just to test it out one time, and a year later, uh, Arthur in here in chat, just out of curiosity, I was like, I wonder what this little like itsy bitsy AIO does, and he picked that up. I'm like, hey, let's check it. Fine, just swapped it out. So yeah, the thread ripper is getting thermal pad when I eventually upgrade the CPU in that. So oh, we gotta do the pins. That's 60 or 70. Alright. No. Oh. GP. Do we have any pin numbering on this? One in fourteen. Oh, get wrecked. That's confusing. Okay, so eek one in fourteen. Which has gotta be like this, so right? No, it's like that. Okay. So hot is one. Switch and negative. It's going to be pin fourteen, which I don't want to count. I don't have a pointing stick. Hmm. Gonna get some microphone in that shot. Uh, All right. Let's double check my arithmetic on this. So one, two, three, five. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, let's do one more take on that. I don't like doing things twice. Man. Call me old school. Four, five, six, 12, 13. Okay. There we go. Either that or my maths are completely off, but maybe we got lucky on that. Oh, if they were labeled, that'd take all the fun out of it, man. Isn't that right, makers of DB25 connectors? That is legitimately one of the reasons, outside of, I didn't think they were going to work at all. I bought those um, screw uh, prototype ends for the DB9, DB25, for the... Uh, Yamaha project, because I was like, how bad are these things? Man, for prototyping, I'm never going back to anything other than those. I'm counting wrong. I'm counting according to this, is what I'm counting. So is that wrong? Or do these count left, right, left, right, left, right, side to side? Got it. There we go. Look at that. That helps. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that is something we need to make a note of. Because you'll get someone not terribly clever like myself and Vilrose. Here I should make a note of that. Okay, let's see if I counted that right. That was going to be a look up. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay. There we go. Maybe it won't explode. I doubt it would. I don't know. I'd have to look up the uh, 
pinouts on the GPO. Uh, how's that going to fold in there? Is that going to be nice? Are you going to play nice when I do this? Click. Ah, we got screws hanging Not screws. We got cables hanging out. Bad cables. All right, we got to work on that. Uh, how do I want? Uh, yeah, that's legit. Yeah, the one thing this one's got full set there. Their slots. And slot for the card and our IO, but yeah, it hasn't done anything to make me severely dislike it yet outside of the uh, pin thing because I definitely was not going to get that on the first try. That would have been like try five, six, or seven on that. Let's get out the little screws. Well, this kind of goes against uh, a principle of don't screw something together until you're sure it works. But hey, that's a little little. It's Friday, right? How are we doing? What do we have in there? Um, uh, how small? They're itsy bitsy. Huh. Oh, no, okay. Anyway. Right? Do I not? I can get. Oh, there's one. Alright. I was about to say I can go get my jeweler's screws. Yeah, this will work. Allegedly. Let's put, some, let's put the screws to it. I like this. I'm not going to use it, but I like this. I'm just going to Velcro this to the back of the rack. And this is a silly question. This is something I haven't looked up. Is there any chance the Raspberry Pi supports PoE? I don't think so, but... Zip ties are too permanent, man. Zip ties are when you want to get fancy. Ah. Oh, it's got a POE hat I can buy. Yeah. That's a shame. That's all right. I mean, I wouldn't expect the OA on a pie, but that'd be nice. Not that I exactly trust PoE, even to this day, but I have PoE set up on uh, the access. Point in the studio. In our microtech powered studio. Yeah, once I get this thing near the rack, it'll be easy to plug in. So we'll be good. No, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. Yeah. This is like putting a blanket over the CPU, isn't it? Okay. Under and over of this thing cutting on. Oh, I got a network cable in. I got this too. We got to make the card. Hmm. Put things up. See, this is, I'm going to make sure it's not going to cut on. I'm going to put this up. Close it. Put it back over there. And get these things out of the way. 
Okay. Now let's get back to the impossible to open. I wonder if you could even open this without a pair of science scissors. Probably not. About hey. Hey, little fella, how you doing? Is that plastic? Yes, I just tasted it and I wanted to see if it was metal. Deal with it. Let's see. Ancient Vin secret to find out if something's metallic or not. Stick it to your tongue. I don't recommend it, though. So I need to put, um, we got to get some Linux on it. We need to install seven Linuxes. It works, right? It's kind of where I'm at. So let's kick over to, where do I have that set up? There we go. Let me plug this into a USB. All right, maybe we'll get lucky. And hey, look at that, it showed up. Bonus soda. I'm just gonna use a uh, etcher, which I'm sure will draw the ire of someone. They're like, that's the wrong one to use, Ben. And I'll agree with you if it doesn't work. Come here, etcher. You like to start on the wrong monitor. There's Mr. Etcher. So we're gonna flash from file. Now, we're going to take Mr. Image Pants. There we go. There's four hidden. Oh, no. Yeah, normally I'd probably use GNOME Disk. I still had this. It's just Snap Image from uh, when I was playing around... Uh-oh, we need hacker codes. Hang on. Okay, I got my hacker code in. Dude. Go, baby, go. Riding in spurts. I have no idea what the write speed on this thing is. USB 3.1 is all fantastic. Uh, read, read's great, but when you get to random writes, man, nah. They usually leave that off the packaging, don't they? Yeah, um, speed's up to 300 megabytes. Reads. That's cool, man. The only thing I don't like about GNOME Disk is they need to put a damn close button on it. Right? That would make life... Well, that would get me to open it more often. Well, I decided not to use, since this thing's going to live its life in as a Jitsi box, you know, like, fine, let's... Yeah, this is going to have a few more write cycles to it. One would hope, right? Not, I'm, I'm sure on KDE, I, I'm sure it does. If, if you're running it with a GTK window manager like you're supposed to be doing, you heathen, it has that uh, client-side GTK3 decoration where you get it. Like, click a little window, then go to close. This box doesn't want to close. This poorly designed piece of card. Oh, I know why, because it doesn't close like that. It closes like that. There we go, doubly. Forty-eight seconds. What are we writing at? Uh, 20? 20 megabytes. Of, that's nothing to sneeze at. That isn't. I have to 
figure out a way to get power to this from her. Okay. I mean, I'm, this is, I'm not arguing. Let's take a look. I don't know if I can even get to it. Um, applications. I rarely use it. It's an under here. I am. I don't even know what that is. This is what I'm talking about, man. Got that. That just moves it. Yeah, right? It could be an XFCE thing, too. Let's be... perfectly honest about that, because... I mean, it's just... that could be an XFCE problem. I don't blindly defend window managers, even the ones I use. Which confuses some people. You know, somebody got confused at Pedro. Because Pedro was pointing out some issues with Plasma with KDE. And like, but you use Plasma. How, how can you speak ill of it? <laughs> because I want it to get better. Oh, the flash is complete. Ah, did I enjoy it? I don't know. Do I feel joy from that? Maybe a little bit. Maybe maybe my left pinky toe. Share on Twitter. Nah. So, that's good. And let's make sure to safely adjust. Yep, totally safely eject that. 100%. As I safely eject um, Flash Media. If you don't do it that way, you could risk damaging something. So, this is... I guess it doesn't care what USB hole you put it in, does it? That's going to be a tight fit. Or am I doing it wrong? No? That's snug. That is snug, but it does work. Got room for the network cable. And I got holes for USB 2. We just got to figure out this power situation before we do anything else. Because... Without the use of uh, an extension cord, I might not be able to do this just yet. Oh, wait. Hmm, no, it's not going to reach there either. Yes. Arthur, and that is exactly what it doesn't look like on mine. Okay. Here's a good question. Does, uh... Which USB... Type C hole does this. it want for um power for the power? I'm sure it told me that in that big manual I just tossed out. Um, let's have a look. Uh, That doesn't tell me what I need to know. Oh, is it only got one? I'm looking at the micro HDMI ports. Never mind. It's 
That's what happens when you get old and feeble. You do stuff like that. So that only goes in. Now, if I was looking for audience interaction, I was like, does it matter which wave if I plug it in the upside down or right side up? Which, that'd be fun. I'm sure somebody would bite. I don't know. Probably not our crowd. They would smell a setup. So I'm going to be plugging this into the router board. And I have some ether noodles. But we got to figure out the power on this. Hmm. Hmm. What can I reach to? Uh, I might. Nay. Let me see if I have... Hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to get a... Uh, I'm going to have to get an extension cord for this. Fortunately, I have one, I think. Let me go take a look. I'll be right back. It's going to be interesting. So, that gives us a little bit of room, a little bit of room. Plugged it into the rack. There is that, and, oh man. Okay, so I have two ethernet cables that we can try because I, they were already packed up together. And I don't know which one's plugged into which, but we'll find out. Let's see if it cuts on. Hey, that's on. Okay. Doesn't make too much. I think it may be very silent. Okay, so let's move that. Watch out, Silver Octopi. I gotta get some cables. Oh, right. Oh, man. So I do need HDMI into this thing. Because it's not going to start with SSH enabled, is it? Probably not. You think it does? Hmm. Well, let's play a game of which one of these is going to pick it up.
Is it that one? It is not that one. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything on either one of those. Oh, I know why too, because I have that Ethernet port disabled. Because I was being all fancy with Mr. Uh... Microtech. Uh, so that's going to be on Ether 5. Oh, let's enable that. Let's try that again. How much uh, slack do I have? A little bit of slack. All right. Let's see which one. Hey, that was it. Um, Ethernet one, two. Where's my DHCP thing that I have? Hmm. Interface list. Ethernet? No. Leases. Yay. That's Android. Okay, I think we are 192.168.88.246. Let's find out. Um... my number pad. There's my number pad. Yay. What did I say? 246? That's the wrong thing. Uh... 88246. Okay. Uh. That's it. Okay. So we got to put some uh, HDMI in its face and see what it does. But I came prepared, look at that. Ta-da! And adapters. <laughs> now the odds of this working out of the box. Ooh. Not, not good. Wait for it to finish. Yeah. I think it's done. I mean, I can try it again. Um, how do I want to do this, though? Yes, I'm just straight up getting connection refused on it. Let's see if we get if we get really lucky this is gonna work. Um So I have to log in as an Ubuntu user. Yeah, connection refused. Okay. What did I type it wrong? U B U N T. Oh, I forgot the U, didn't I? I got too much going on. Let me see. 
Let's see if it works. What is going on with it now? And boot to... There, are we done testing out theories? I'll take that as a yes. Why are you screeching in Strider? U-B-U-N-T-U. That's how you spell Ubuntu, isn't it? Well, maybe because it doesn't work with SSH out of the box. So let's do a V4L2 connection. Sure. I think that's the only... Color range... Does this thing care which video port you feed it? Yeah, I've already pinged it. Yeah, we'll give that a try. I'm by reading. I'm just going to nuke the power and we'll see what happens. All right, Mr. Pi. Good night. Yeah, I, I went ahead. It was an HDMI too, so... And this this is the uh, sketchy HDMI encoder. So... Let's power it back up. Hey, look at that. Good job, sketchy HDMI encoder. SD card not detected. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Worked the first time. So even with a Pi 4, you have to update? That doesn't want to go on at all. I want to know what it did last time. Are shipping with the latest firmware. Hmm. Well then. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. Do I have a micro SD card? Actually, I might. Let me go check. We will uh, continue this adventure.
Okay. Ah. We're going to make a uh, boot card. I think they've been proofed these. Yeah, it only goes in one way. All right. Well, you know, considering that uh, pretty much everything's still locked down. Yeah, pretty wild. Let's try this again. Wait a minute, how big is this card? 16 gigs? That should be enough. Uh, firmware. Right? I assume that's going to be big enough to update the firmware. Let's do a take two on this. All right, that's a lot. Let's do the thing. All right, hacker codes. And let's throw a little authentication your way. All right. Well, playing with new hardware is fun. It's always an excuse. Always learn things. And sometimes, you know, you get a chance to inflict your suffering upon others. It's win-win. All right, so I guess, um, what's the, um, flashing procedure? I'm sure they've, uh, Got a nice little command after it boots, right? Or am I going to have to Google that? No guessing. Decompre Decompressing takes a minute for some reason. It's a good thing I have this 24 thread thread ripper. That would have took forever. See, I'm not as cool as you. Let's see what this thing's actually in. It's going to be hard to find. What are you doing, Etcher? I do not believe you're still decompressing. It is a, uh, a 
challenge to use this computer right now because I got so much junk in front of it. It's entertaining from this end, but probably not for you at home. Um, yeah, it does. All right, let's try that again. Didn't like that at all, did it? Maybe take two will work better? Maybe not. Who knows? What is the name of this program in the system, though? Because it's... Sure as F all not etcher. Do it with terminal. I do everything else with the terminal. I have five computers networked uh, with a net jack running over Dawn, 64 tracks and 32 plugins all synced at 128 meg buffer. And I do all that with a terminal. Sometimes I want to use a damn GUI. Okay, that is the good one. Hey, it's flashing now. It's Electron. Electron's the future. Right? We thought we filled, finally killed cancerous Flash. Etcher walked in, kicked the door, and it's like, Konnichiwa, bitches. Take an app image electron over a flat pack or snap any day. I guess I should be looking up. Um, we get this critter booted. What is the uh, flash procedure to update the firmware? It shouldn't be too difficult, should it? Hardware, are you gonna help me? <laughs> it's not difficult, it's only three commands. I'm not gonna fucking tell you what they are, but all right. There we go. All right, we can science this. Get our validation. I might need Raspbian for this. All right. Maybe do. Maybe do. We're gonna find out, though, right? Suspenseful. <laughs> if this fails, I'm probably gonna have to like, go take a walk for a minute. Like, ah! Maybe we'll 
much as good lucky though. We could use a little bit of luck. I really wish that was metal on this um thumb drive, but oh well. Hey. We have completed a thing. Yeah, it's gonna be Mr. Jitsuks. Are you gonna let go? There we go. <laughs> that would have been some luck, would it? Um, where's the hole? Let me unplug you for a second. There we go. Did I just do what I think I did? Oh, we got lucky there. Okay. I dropped it down in the case. All right. All right. It's doing things. Let's unbig in it so we can get an idea. Well, no, let's. Yeah, I guess I need to put a ether noodle into it. Just for... There we go. We have to log on. I don't know what the IP address is. It's not going to be the same. There's no chance of that, is there? Uh. Let's take a look. Uh, Ubuntu is 88241. Okay. So maybe we get lucky. Is that right? Ubuntu. Hey! We're going to science this potato after all. Yes. Uh, is it just, is it going to be on Ubuntu? I guess it is. All right. Wait, did it bounce me back out? Oop. There we go. Okay, we got some updating. Well, do I need to, should I bother with this or should I just try to do the, um, but should I update the reap? I don't know. Let's try it the wrong way. Okay. So it does want me to do the update, do a full upgrade. All right. Okay. So what it suggested. Upgrade. Fine. Don't copy and paste stuff from the internet, kids. What? No, app should work fine. I'm just going to do this. Let's see what happens. Oh, unintended upgrades? Canonical, are you upgrading in the background? 
Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I, that's the first thing I want my system to do when I cut it on to start randomly downloading shit and doing upgrades. Smooth. Yeah. There's your use case not to use on Ubuntu. Right, yeah. Um, let's get that over here. And maybe. How long is this going to take, though? I mean... To make it safer than one. Well, let's, let's be honest with you. That's going to be like 99% of the people who use Linux for the first time. They have no idea. I mean, I understand why it does that, but I don't like it. That's not a good sign. So... It's not good. Well, we're not going to be checking anything. What? Well, hey, is it done? All right. So. What's this do? See, yeah, I don't like this guy. Update. I, I need to do some searching. Google. Um, with Ubuntu. Let's see what this says. You don't need to do anything other than wait. Um. There's nothing like a bunch of just random confusion on the internet for something as simple as like this this should be so what are we supposed to be looking for raspi eprom So that is there. Oh, 
is that still running? Nanical. I'm gonna have to stab you in your dick. Yeah. I got a bootloader. So, yeah. Electronically erasable read only program. Well, programmable read only memory. It might genuinely just be quicker to um, get Raspbian downloaded. Been waiting for this. Hmm. Yeah, just move that over there. Get a copy of Pios. Can I get away with just the light version? I think I don't have everything. We'll find out. It's only 400 megs. Did unintended upgrades finally stop? No, we're doing app check. Okay, we're doing a release. Still doing app check. I don't want to see if this just finishes. I'm dead. Yeah, the biggest thing about this, this is going to be a one, this, this is going to be a utility box. This isn't like, hey, I want to play around with Raspberry Pis. They're neat, which they are neat. I enjoy them, but this is a device to be cut on, velcroed to the back of the rack and never touched again. Yeah, well, I mean, then you get things like um, Raspbian or the Raspi OS. They snacked in that uh, Microsoft repo on everyone. They're like, hey, man, it's just for visual code. Oh, no, we're not going to tell you we're doing that. But, hey, you know, it happens. It's for your own good. And it was like regular visual code, too, the one with the telemetry. It wasn't like, uh, what is it, Codeneum, the one with all that ripped out. It wasn't their um, best moment. Yeah, I think I'm I, I'm nearing the end of my patience here. Because yes, this is no. Oh, we're into deep. <laughs> That's just getting going. Hmm. Yeah. So do, what do we think? Should we just go ahead and uh, install PyOS instead of waiting for this nonsense so we can then boot? I think that's what we're going to do. I got those feels. Sorry, Ubuntu.
That's not going to work anymore. Nope. Okay, so yeah, let's do it not like that. It's not too bad getting that out. No doubt with the worst. Click. Alright. Where do I have this again? There. Okay, now we can all complain about using Etcher again. Yay! Okay, let's flash a file, and... Oh, is this a zip file? Alright, hang on. I gotta science a little bit before we get into this. Uh... Extract. Why does this keyboard look like work? Because it's ergonomic and it has worked. There's probably a connection. I know, right? All right. So we got an image file. And we're going to try to put right char. And we click flash, and we gotta go, ah! And put in our hacker codes. And go, baby, go. So, while that runs, I am going to do a little bit of a bio break, because I've been here for almost an hour and a half. Did it do the thing? Yeah, it did. All right, let's safely remove by pulling it directly on. This we don't. Yeah, keyboard. There's a number pad. This I thought this was the dumbest damn thing that came with the keyboard, but. I'm a fan now. Okay, let's do this without dropping it into the case. Done. All right, under and over. Let's see if it boots. the screen thing. The hell does that say? Hey! Thing. Well, oh, right, right, right. This thing, this thing's got to do this little tap dance routine before it gets up and running. Because it was a pain in the ass to get the image hacked where it would boot with Wi-Fi and SSH. Wi-Fi with credentials and SSHD enabled. Because I didn't have a keyboard at the time. All right. Uh... This is going to make things interesting because now I need a keyboard, don't I? Because I know for a fact Raspbian doesn't have SSH set up correctly. Keyboard, keyboard. Well, I'm in the studio. I know there's a keyboard in the tech closet and I have USB ports. I think we can do something about the situation. One moment.
Okay. We might be able to pull this off. Thank you for following Pirate Cipher. We have... Everyone has one of these. Look in, look in a closet. You'll have one of these old double keyboards. Um, I don't need it to look pretty. I just need to log in. Uh. Okay. Anyone remember what the... Uh, Raspberry Pi login default. I remembered it for like two seconds, uh, but that has been many moons ago. Um, get the right keyboard, old man. All right, let's get the other keyboard. Remember the pass? Pie, raspberry? All right, try that. Look at that. Thanks, man. Okay, so... Now we have to do the update thing correctly. So I'm guessing we just need to do a full update, right? Well, this is a new version. Like, this is a fresh version of um, Raspberry, so maybe I don't need to bother with the... 48 packages. I don't know. Install the latest bootloader. Oh no, that's going to require typing. Okay. We do a thing, son. I don't know, Dad. Okay, please reboard. Uh. Okay. So now we can just uh. Pseudo reboot now. All right. Good for next time. There's not going to be a next time. You kidding me? There will only be a next time if something goes horribly wrong. This Raspberry Pi is going to be a butter robot. It's going to have one job. It's going to get cut on twice a week. Yeah, that's that's what I have on the uh, on the, this guy. So hopefully, and I might not end up. What I do first is okay. What was that login again? Pi, user Pi, Raspberry. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to do with the uh, Raspi, I'm going to turn it into a Jitsi server for our shows. Um, that's all it's going to do. It's going to 
connect us for weekly, daily Wednesdays and uh, Linux Gamecast weekly and for guest stuff like that. So basically just WebRTC. Okay. Now we're cooking with evil gas kids. Let me move this so I can move. I can embiggen this and everyone can still see things, including me. Now I need to configure options. Configure options for startup. Um. Where's it at? System settings? Audio. Network. Graphical. No? Yeah, it's looking like it, right? Display interface options, performance options. Um. Yeah, like looking at the thing I have here, there should be one that just says uh, configure options for startup, but nay, there's not. Regional. performance all right enjoy your laying down no it's not gonna be that language advanced settings maybe system boot order maybe oh there's too small to read what's that say network boot boot from network of FC okay so is that the right thing That looks like it's the right thing, isn't it? Um. I don't know. YOLO? Let's update this tool to the latest version just for funsies while we're here. So that's going to be for Raspbian OS, not involving the Ubuntu USB config. What? Hmm.
Yes. So here's the question. We're trying to get it to boot off USB. I think we're on different pages here. Also, this is very difficult to read. I'm going to do two things at once. Um, item 3, select boot ROM version. Hey, you see I'm not getting item 3. I think it does. I don't know, there's one way to find out, right? Let's find out. Let's see what it does anyway. Right? <laughs> this thing didn't cost enough to um worry about it too much. I'm just being honest with you. Let's see what it does. USB MSD boot, beta software. All right, so we learned that. So, I just got to uh, sit and Google how to do it instead of doing all this guesswork. B4, depending on when... Create an SD card with the latest Raspberry for EEPROM boot recovery image. Okay, this is all we gotta do and all this nonsense we've been trying. Okay. So can I just do that pseudo rep by EEPROM update? I think I'm gonna try that. Let's give that a shot. If I can get the uh, card back in. There we go. Thank you for the resub, Mr. Finch. I just saw that.
All right, so. There we go. And let me just pull this off for a second so I can read it. Um, okay, current and latest. A1, 138, A1, 3. Allegedly, it's blue. As we learned in the video encoder, um, sometimes USB 3 is just USB 2 with blue paint. Look at it go. Hopefully it won't be too long. So tomorrow night, I think we're going to finally have um, Sonobus dialed in for our audio. So um, Pedro and Jordan will both be coming in over PCM16, uncompressed. I had to do some DNS not manual stuff for the UDP ports and prioritize. And as with always with MicroTick, 
you do a search on Microtech, you're like, hey, I want to do this thing. You think Microtech's like, oh, so you want to do it for your ISP? I'm like, no. Oh. It, it needs to get used to it. Changes the repo for EEPROM from staple to default. That'd be neat. But that's our end goal for this stream. <laughs> it's like, this is get it to boot off USB and we're good. Trusty. I got this thing at a thrift store for like 60 pence. It's cheap. I didn't even need it. I just bought it because it was so cheap and it was one piece. I really wish this box closed, but it doesn't. Yeah, I'm just going off the instructions at this point, my man, so no worries. As fun as applying guesswork is, it's not very conducive to getting S done. Granted, it's probably more entertaining. It's not too bad, it's only 40-something packages out of date. Yeah! So let's see if we can get away with... Am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to reboot. Never mind. Let's see if this is going to be a better love story. Good on you, little camcorder. You haven't overheated. All right. Come on. So why is it still showing 2020 as the latest? Whereas by config, it's like either the default production release or the latest. Okay, so I guess I need to change it to if I read. Is that it? No? I think it's. I think Lassie's trying to tell me right here in the. Um, Use Raspi config. Oh, there we go. Being a little um listexic. Uh configure system settings.
that's exactly where it told me to look. Use the latest version of uh, Boot Rom. Maybe that was it. Let's find out. Maybe we can't break it. Let's be honest. You can do a little pie. I have faith in you. All right. All right. So let's take a look. Hey, we're on twenty twenty one. So that should be the only thing we have to do, right? Maybe? Okay, I gotta lock all the scenes on this. This is getting ridiculous. Video capture. <laughs> yeah, right. It should. Watch it, Mark. I'm done with that. I'll put a rusty card and what did I do with the doggle? There it is. That was just being snacky. Make sure I shove it real hard the wrong way. There we go. Upside down. Super position. USB. Gotta love it. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, I cut it off. There we go. Pick two. Okay, so I gotta update the firmware. I thought that's what we did. So do I need to put Raspbian on? Interesting. Yes, unless this thing was just like straight up fibbing to me, the firmware it showed the latest. Maybe I didn't apply it? No, the plot thickens. Shouldn't be loading firmware off of the um drive. Because that would make it, no matter what you installed, it would make it impossible to update the firmware. I think I know what I 
didn't do. Update available. I think I, maybe I didn't install it. Everything is up to date. So... Back to this guy. Was it advanced? Whoops. This is very difficult to read. from USB if available. Really? I will just cut you off. <laughs> I mean... Let's see if that did it. Okay, I'm going to flash Raspbian to uh, thumb drive, just so I can narrow this down. Just so I can narrow this down. Too many keyboards. Uh, this one. It's an adventure. You gotta look at it like that. What's what's the fun of something <laughs> like switching boot order? You can have a little fun with it. It's 6.30. Alright, it's not too bad. I do need to check. Let's see if we're running out of drive space. Alright, I'm down to 200 gigs.
So yeah, 384 gigs for two hours. <sighs> I might trust that for another 30, 35 minutes. No magic smoke. I'm just keeping track of um, available hard drive space because when you were recording in DNX HD 440, 1080 60, one terabyte's just a snack. Eight hours at 1080p 60? Yeah, probably if you're not, like if you're recording in it in a compressed format. That's why I record in DNX HD. Think of it more of um, something you might be more familiar with. It. It's more like ProRes. It's a lot easier to edit. Okay, that... I gotta find out which one it is. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, I go back and edit stuff, so I'm recording at roughly 40 megabytes a second, so... Let's try this out. So that's Raspbian. Well, let's see if we can YOLO this. Let's see what happens. Blink for me. Something. Maybe. You can do it. Come on, little pie. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Click on that. What is it? Pi login, Raspberry password? I think that's right. There we go. And then, ladies and gentlemen, is that one easy step? Not booting from the SD card. Yep. Yeah, we did. We did a thing. Kind of amazing. Oh, uh, let's see. There it is. Still hard to read, it's kind of... Kind of a little bit janky where they, um... Okay. What is my IP address? Two forty. Um, 
That's not going to work. But she was right. Keyboard. So I'm just going to guess that that's not going to be started. I have to get this off DHCP, of course. All right. So what is our SSHD package? Yep. That's what I got to do. I get this thing. I do not know how people deal with two keyboards. Is it, what is it? Um, is it just that or server? Let's say it's server. Uh, I can't read this, it's too small. Also, I can't type. Nope, oh, maybe it's just this HD. If there was only a thing I could type into the internet and find out exactly what pack it was. Nope. If I wanted to be, if I really wanted to fill some time, I would just do some app searches, but. Open SSH. All right. That makes sense. Okay. What is it? I can just start the service. Bingo was his name. Oh. All right. I think we've applied enough science to that. So I can... Do that and use the right keyboard. All right. That's where we needed to be. We did a thing. Yeah. So. There we go. I wish I could cut these lights off. Take these sunglasses off. But then I wouldn't be so cool. Um, Yeah. That wasn't too painful. I know how to do it now. There's that. I don't know what I'm going to run into trying to get... um. Everything's set up with Jitsi, but that's an experiment. I might play around with that some more this afternoon, this evening. I don't, I don't want to go out on a limb and say we've learned anything. But. I have hope. I have hope. 